Hello everybody, my name is Nathaniel Dodds and I run the Covenanter monthly pamphlet program over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. You can head over there and check out all of the pamphlets that we've printed, pick up any of the back issues. And of course you can subscribe for just $10 a month, which will get you a brand new pamphlet each and every month delivered directly to your mailbox. Now this month, February of 2018, we have a letter second to the Reverend William Fletcher by William Stephen. To give you an idea of what this booklet's all about, I'm going to read here an excerpt from the back of the book. In his second letter, Mr. Stephen once more takes up the cause of the Reformed Presbytery against the accusations of the secession church on the matter of civil magistracy. His first concern is to vindicate the position of Reformed Presbyterians on matter of paying tribute or taxations. In the first section, Mr. Stephen discusses the nature of taxations, distinguishing between those with which it is inherently sinful to comply and other forms with which we might conscientiously comply under certain conditions. He explains the difference between a direct and voluntary paying of such taxations versus an indirect and involuntary paying. He concludes this matter by showing that covenanters, when they do comply with and submit to taxations imposed by immoral governments, do so only indirectly and involuntarily, not yielding any conscientious submission to illegitimate claims to authority. The second section of the letter contains an elaborate account of several important differences between the nature of the Reformation Church of Scotland and the Revolution Church of Scotland. He explains how the Revolution Establishment of 1690 changed the fundamental law and constitution of the Church of Scotland, making it a different church from that of the Reformation. He details the inherent Erastianism of allowing the state to impose itself into the assemblies and transactions of the church, and the Erastianism of the state imposing days of fasting and thanksgiving without the joint approval of the church. Of most interest to the reader today should be the numerous comments and remarks surrounding the nature of covenanted uniformity in this section. Mr. Stephen takes up the subject of the British Union in 1707 and its complete subversion of the uniformity covenanted in the Solemn League and Covenant. Here we see the covenanted uniformity is central to the claims and agenda of real covenanters. So there you have it, letter second to the Reverend William Fletcher by, of course, William Stephen. You can check it out. You can pick up a copy for yourself. Again, over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. Thank you very much.